all depends if when the yellow goes back in its spot, does it go past the green? That's what he's played. And he couldn't have played it any better. One. I think he's figured out what you'd said, Alan. And he played for the yellow and then lifted the blue, the green. So he played a, a little gem there. Brown ball. Give you white one. They're so fast the cloth if he wobbled the yellow in the pocket uh, but then if the yellow went in he could snooker himself <laughs> he's played the wobble he's played a brilliant shot that was the only way he could hold the yellow at that end of the table superb got from judd trump there very clever as Dennis mentioned, without the jewels, that yellow would have come right back up towards the... Potable, but it takes uh, some getting. And it was too. You don't see that shot very often. Very clever. And uh, Ben applauds because it was very good thinking. And let's have a look at this shot again. He had to control it, though. There's no doubt about that. Just left the white in the only position. And to be fair, I didn't see it. And neither did Ben, I don't think. Uh, don't blame him for this, actually. This is a good effort. Wow. Wow. Great shot. I've got to say, that's by far and away his best shot of the match. 24. A lot of players may have played for the one in the ball carry. He decided to try and make something happen. And I'm a big advocate of that. If you make something happen, 25. you deserve to get what you get. And he deserves everything he gets from now. Can he get to it? He's played it. He's, he's, he's put, put that down as probably the shot of the tournament so far. He played half ball off the first red to make the contact on the plant, and then it went. Very, very good.
11. Big shot. He's taking it on. No, I'm not taking it on. Refusing it. Sure, no, that's a very clever shot indeed. Excellent shot. Very, very clever. Yes, and just as well executed as it was conceived. Perhaps the best break building well. chance that Bingham's had all day. Yeah, and what a clever little shot he played. Our players may have looked at that brown and taken it on into the middle, but he couldn't have executed that safety shot any better. That is actually a very clever shot indeed. To put that red over the corner and cover it is one of the best shots Sean Murphy's played tonight. You see it? There was no attempt at the pot. He was just weld the cue ball to the right side cushion. He could virtually impossible to leave that red. I see Hawk. I mean, what did we play in here? He's got a look at anyway. He's the red uh, near the green spot. And Hawkeye hasn't quite caught up with that one yet. It's on the left-hand side of the picture as you see it. There you go, he's going over. There you are. So you can play that red possibly off the side cushion with pace and try and knock the red in this on the left corner. Excellent shot. It was always going to be on the green. One. Want to execute the shot, but done well there to see the shot as well. He's given me the impression he'd like to pop this and get the cannon on the right-hand red and hold for the other one. But all this is all particularly difficult, especially when you can't reach it. Well, he's not called Wee Dotty for nothing, is he? Oh, what a shot. I mean, that's beautifully played. <laughs> the pot's one thing, but the full ball cannon, which he absolutely played, it. great shot. He played the kiss on the pink with the yellow, and I think he did. What a fantastic shot that was. Because he had to hold the yellow down that end of the table, because it was on its way back down again. Look at this again. He sent the yellow down the table. It would have come back down the table without the kiss on the pink. A little unlucky there, Sullivan, I think. He's trying to angle him, is he? Wow, what a shot that is. He's done it. <laughs> On your Sullivan, 36. You need a, a sublime touch to do that. That was very clever, wasn't it? green around the angles and maybe take the brown out here may go close to it may go close well, what a shot he's played there <laughs> what a shot that's one of the shots of this week yeah worth another look without a doubt and well called Ken absolutely brilliant Great shot. Very well worked out. 
He's looking to see if he can screw back off the pink, maybe cannon the pink into the blue, hoping to put both blue and pink safe. I wouldn't blame him for that choice. That's what he's tried to do, and what a fantastic shot. That is fabulous. That, would, for me, is one of the best shots of the championship, John. Very clever. Very clever. A lot cleverer than the positional shot he played off the red the shot before. But as you say, maybe it's just a careless shot, the positional shot off the red, because he gave that plenty of thought, and as you say, superbly worked out. Oh, what a brilliant shot that is. That is a delightful Robertson shot. 22. To not only bring the blue into play, but to bring the yellow into play. That has really opened this game up now. He sometimes gives them a warning, three or four shots each, but earlier on in the uh, tournament, referee offered the situation straight away and they picked it up and started again. But he's not, he's, he wants to get away from here. And that's a clever shot too, by the way. <laughs> not only did he get back into uh, the balk near the cushion, but he pushed the red away from the one that was on. Well done. Yeah, that's not a bad shot from Jimmy. Don't know if Mark Allen can sneak this red in behind the brown and the yellow. Be very thin. Oh, he has. Oh, my goodness. What a shot this is. Well, oh, that's a great shot from Mark Allen. It might just have changed the course of this match in the most dramatic fashion. Well, this is a clever shot. This is a very clever shot indeed. <laughs> the front line. Boy, was that some shot he's pulled out there. To judge that was superb. You won't see many better shots than that. Straight back at the table. Oh, that's a clever shot, using one red to pot the other one. Is he going to get lucky? He certainly is. <laughs> well, that's a great shot. I mean, it really was a, a great shot to see because the other part about it is... The, the red that he played the initial plant with went into the bunch. It's almost like a trick shot. He's played it from this pot. And I'll tell you what, it might free that red. No. What a fantastic shot that was. It wasn't how he planned it, but he saw the opportunity. It could be a frame winner. The cue ball, this is going to come around the back of the red. Two oh, brilliant, brilliant shots he's played. <laughs> 11. You know, he's trying to knock the red in with the red. He's just played, and look at this shot. If this comes off, what a shot that is! <laughs> that is unbelievable. That
is the shot of this year's championship. Use the brown to do it. And what a terrific shot that was again from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Cannon in the brown thin to send a cue ball 14. down towards the reds. Terrific shot. Griffiths was not too shabby in that department, he would have loved that one. Well, I mean, he, look at this, it's just, it's got everything, the shot. It needs to clear up so the thing needs to be in play. <laughs> 